and we are doing this rolling coverage of mission chandrayaan 3 where the lander has soft landed on the south pole of the moon we are now eagerly awaiting when the rover pragyan comes out of uh, the lander and uh, starts roving on the moon's south pole surface all right joining me on the telecast is jay prakash jay prakash there's big news pouring in prime minister narendra modi has announced that he would be visiting the isro headquarters on 26th of august this after the successful soft landing that has now been accomplished it's a huge feat for isro india at large and uh, the chandrayaan 3 successful mission has uh, uh, in fact created uh, the flutter across the world congratulatory messages coming from across the global leaders leading countries and also uh, the uh, space organization be it nasa uh, and also uh, mega when uh, we were doing the rolling coverage uh, the international media to cut live to isro's uh, live link uh, in fact uh, the isro's uh, live link uh, crossed over 3 billion views that's a uh, live uh, 3 million views that happened when isro was carrying out that uh, soft launch uh, just a couple of uh, hours ago and uh, yes prime minister narendra modi who addressed the nation uh, and also isro uh, virtually uh, immediately after the vikram landed successfully on moon uh, has uh, now intimated uh, to the isro that he will be coming to the isro complex uh, to congratulate all the scientists uh, who have been uh, working hard tirelessly for the last four years after the uh, so partial success of uh, Chandrayaan to, to congratulate them. It's going to be a huge uh, uh, you know, event to mark at ISRO when uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be arriving here in Bengaluru, his track center in yeah. Kenya. Yeah. You, know, the, you know, in 2019, when uh, Chandrayaan 2 mission unfolded, it was Prime Minister Narendra Modi who was present with the then ISRO chief K. Sivan. And those are very poignant moments that were shared with the world where he was, you know, after the unfortunate debacle, he hugged him. Uh, Sivan was seen crying. So, so that was a poignant moment. But, but this is going to be transformative in the sense that when the Prime Minister visits the ISRO headquarters and meets with uh, uh, Somnath, who's the new chief of uh, ISRO, uh, it's, it's going to be uh, happiness, it's going to be uh, victory that is going to be celebrated. The mood is going to be completely different. Absolutely. Uh, euphoric, you could say. Our Prime Minister himself uh, said that uh, ISRO has got uh, a half a dozen missions uh, ahead, uh, including uh, one to uh, the sun, uh, to study the effects of sun. And then you have the Gaganyaan. Uh, then uh, you also have the Mars mission uh, and also JSLV and PSLV missions uh, uh, for enhancing the GPS and signaling system uh, uh, here uh, in India. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, uh, congratulated the ISRO team for this uh, fantastic feat and uh, what a moment it will be for uh, those scientists in ISRO. It was a collective effort uh, for uh, uh, the ISRO uh, as uh, the chairman Somnath himself said that uh, ISRO's success stems from the failure. We have learned our lessons and uh, over 150 uh, you know, lab condition tests were made. Uh, the earlier Chandrayaan to 40% of it was lab tests and 60% were all virtual uh, uh, and uh, uh, this being the case this time around they were more careful uh, uh, and studied uh, from the failure of uh, Chandrayaan to being uh, 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 beat, uh, studying how to control the velocity of uh, uh, the lander while right. it is approaching the moon surface or uh, stabilizing or fortifying uh, those uh, you know, landing uh, legs of a uh, land up, uh, and uh, you know, ultimately it all paid off, and uh, Chandrayaan we successfully landed Soft on the land. In exactly fact, in fact, we were just describing to our audiences that first image that has been shared by by lander Vikram right after it landed, and and you know, it's enthralling to know that this is as close as humanity can get to moon, and we in we at India have been able to achieve that. But uh, stay on with me, Jay Prakash, because uh, we're getting to know that as per sources within the ISRO, uh, the, health, the health of Vikram at this point of time is being monitored constantly and uh, the command to deploy the Pragyan rover will be sent shortly. Now, how shortly is this shortly going to be? Well, it is, it is all coming down to second now. Uh, in fact, uh, when the chairman was briefing the media, he said that uh, ISRO achieved more than what it had actually expected. Now, slowing down the Vikram the lander was the most important thing after the rough phase. 
when it came to the smooth pace and they achieved it uh, uh, more than 150%, which means that uh, 1.2 uh, meters uh, uh, per second, that was what was achieved. It gave them a lot of confidence uh, while they landed Chandrayaan 3. And he also said that, which also means that we are very, very confident that uh, uh, Vikram the lander is uh, in robust health. Now, uh, it is important uh, for the ISRO to send uh, the commands uh, to uh, the receiver, which is uh, embedded in the system there on Vikram the lander. The rail tracks have to open up and then uh, uh, the Pragyan, the rover, will slowly roll on to the moon surface. Around 9.930 is what we're expecting that big movement to happen. And uh, it is expected that uh, the Pragyan would also carry a small Indian flag. So, you know, plenty of excitement still in store while ISRO is working at the mission operation complex. The MOX complex, right. Somnath has not gone home. Uh, he is very much stationed at the MOX complex and monitoring all the situation there along with the mission directors and the entire team of ISRO. Absolutely. Thank you, Jay Prakash, for joining us on the telecast. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.